Hey guys, how's it going? Boxman here with another war recap, and as you can see, we faced Tam Kai City. We cleared all their Tunnel 9s, all their Tunnel 8s, and one of their Tunnel 10s, and we had 14 3 stars versus 11 3 stars. We finished uh, 54 to 51, and we're going to start with their number 7. It's uh, Tunnel 9 versus Tunnel 10 Triple Mass Bouts. Now, as you can see, not the most leveled up base, as it is an engineered base because it has low level Archer Towers, low level cannons, and. Uh, you know, he probably has pretty much max troops for Tunnel 10. And his idea behind this is to uh, match a Tunnel 9, but all they're doing is cheating the system. And uh, this is no better than modding. I really hope you guys don't support engineered bases, and I know we don't here at Dark Obsidian. So he comes in with the kill squad, just two golems, a bunch of wizards. He's going to send his heroes in, he's going to send his Valks in, he's just going to spam the base, and he's going to mop it up like it's nothing. Uh, two, mo I'm sorry, two single Inferno and Towers, so... Inferno Towers, so they're uh, pretty easy to get through, you can just spam them. He did quite the core, so plenty of time for the box to get in there. And actually it looks like a lot of the Wizards did a lot of the work too, for the Inferno Towers. Um, base is pretty much done for already, not a whole lot of defenses left, and the ones that are left are all low level, and they're all spread out in like a, basically you can counter one or two at a time, so still has a Golem up that hasn't popped. Um, still has a wizard, still has queen ability, a minute and a half left on the board. There's just no stopping him at this point. These uh, new level 6 wizards are just so strong compared to that level 1 Tesla and all that other stuff down there. Keep it up, Dirt. We really appreciate you and your 3 stars. You're one of our most valuable members and uh, let's keep winning the wars. Uh, last two defenses left. Uh, all the walls pretty much opened up except for the one where that golem's at. It looks like the golem just opened up the wall, so it's a straight path for the queen. She's gonna come in, take it out, still has queen ability, and there is no stopping it. And uh, that's gonna be a wrap. Once again, you should always upgrade your defenses. It's fine to do the point fives, but never, never this dramatic. It's just cheating the system. So we're going to go to the next one, it's Ogi versus the Tunnel 9, and she's going to be using Gilbaho. So she's got her uh, golem, probably two golem kill squad. Yeah, two golems, got some wizards, king. Uh, quakes open the base because you can get straight to the core with the quake spell. I'm going to drop his queen, drop her queen here in a second. And then uh, I'm going to send in the Valks. Gonna spam them to the core, and then she's got the, the hogs for the rest of the base. I can't stress enough how important it is you use anti three star bases in war because the town nine anti two star bases are just not gonna cut it. They're so easy to three star, especially with now they troops and bowlers and whatnot. You just won't stand a chance. You really, really need to be using anti three star bases in war. So, last heal spell used, uh, still have tank in with the golem, still have queen ability, plenty of hogs there, all point defense, no splash damage left, well the mortar, but they're like almost to the mortar already. Uh, this base is destroyed, only two defenses left, one's about to go down now, and that's a wrap. Good job Ogi, keep it up, we really appreciate your reward. Giant Bomb hits Queen, but still has Queen ability, gonna be just fine. Really, really bad places for Giant Bombs. You really don't want to have them out in the open like that. You really want them to be in between defenses and smart places. So, that's a wrap. Uh, last two buildings going down now. Actually, there's one more there at the, the, the gold storage, and then the surprise Tesla at the uh, top, but the Golem's gonna get to that first. Uh, bomb next to the, actually two bombs next to the, the, the Tesla, that's not very smart. Anyway, uh, good job Ogie. The next one I'm going to bring you is me versus Tano 9 using Stone Hobo. And this has become my new favorite attack strategy. 
and it's just a max attack. You're just going to come in with the golems and the, the bowlers and the heroes, and then you're going to use all the spells on them. As you see, it turns out after I use my archers that all the Teslas are in the core. Well, three of them are. And then you have the bomb tower. So I use my baby dragon for the bomb tower. Then I'm going to send my three golems in, and I'm going to give them plenty of time to work before I start trying to enter this base. I'm going to create a nice, wide, open funnel. As the last couple buildings go down, I put my jump spell down. I'm going to send my king, queen, and then my bowlers in. I've got a heal and a rage for them. And then I have a second jump spell. I'm going to start with the rage to get them through that queen a little bit quicker. And then I have the heal spell for the core jump spell for the core so they can progress onward and two poisons for the CC and I'm dropping them now and then I still have a uh, king ability gets used I still have queen ability and I start sending my hogs in starting with uh, the Tesla there at the bottom and a few uh, uh, hogs at the top I'm gonna send some more in on the side and then some more at that archer tower on the top uh, top right side and uh, you know, you just want to sneak them in while the defenses are distracted. I had a couple go to that Tesla on the right side. They take it out and they come back. And that, with that, all the defenses are going down now. And this is going to be a wrap. All the bombs were in the core, so they were easy to get to with my kill squad. And the rest is just clean up. I used my queen ability to get through the wall a little bit quicker. And that is that. Once again, not an anti three star base. And I really stress using the anti three star bases. Oh, well, I'm sorry, there was a Tesla still alive. Maybe not, maybe it's just a builder hut. Yeah, probably just a builder hut. So, anyway, on to the next one. It's gonna be Farf versus a Town of Nine, and he's gonna be using Go Va Boho, is what I'm gonna call it, because he has Zox and Bowlers. But, uh, anyway, so he's got the two Golem kill squad. Bowlers and CC. Gonna send his wizards behind his golems. Send his wall, wall breakers in. I'm sorry, wall breakers then wizards. He's got the CC already lowered. He's got his poisons going down for it now. Didn't quite get enough funnel made on that left side, but I think he may have waited a little bit longer before sending his boxing. I think he realized it. And then he's going to send his kill squad into the core. <laughs> he does lose one bowler to the, uh, oh never mind, it funnels right back in. Actually they're going to go to that gold, that uh, elixir store. So the bowlers end up walking except for one or two. But he did get the Valks in, which is going to be plenty, and he still has uh, hogs in for the core, I'm sorry, for the side of the base. He only brought six hogs, but he only needed six hogs because he had such a huge kill squad. Still has a heal spell left in the bag. He uses it on the hogs. Didn't really need it for the hogs. He used it anyway. And uh, he probably could have swagged that heal. Um, good job, Farf. Keep it up. Last defense going down now. Nothing but cleanup. Go ahead and speed it up to times two. Still has the builder hut over on that left corner. Still has queen ability, didn't even have to use it. And that is a wrap. Okay, so the next one's going to be Boone versus a Town on Nine using high B. And Boone is one of our uh, newer Town on Nines. I mean, she's been a Town on Nine for a long time, but her heroes are still pretty low and her uh, defenses are still pretty new. And that's just because it takes such a long time to farm these things. So it's really not that big of an outmatch. I mean, I granted, it's uh, basically attacking a Town on Eight with uh, low level walls. Nonetheless, still a great feat. So it comes in with the Giants and the Healers. Um, I don't see any wall breakers, but the Giants, they get through that wall pretty quick with it being low level. Sends in the Wizards, sends in the Bowlers, the Heroes, sends them all into the core. And uh, just has a uh, Rage and Heal. I don't see any uh, Quick or Jump spells. She did bring Hogs. The Hogs are going to take out that... Um, basically the whole right side of the base. 
They're going to die to that with those wizard towers and the king. So probably a wasted uh, deployment there, but no big deal. Still going to three star the base just fine. Still had a heal spell up for the hots at the top and a rage down. She's going to use right now. Still has uh, two poison spells, which she can use on that king. And uh, still has king ability too. Healers peeled off to the king. Would have been better if they stayed on the bowlers, but with it being uh, basically Tano 8, um, not a big issue there. Last hog going down now. Bowlers still up. Giant still up. They're going to take out that king with no problem. They got the wizard tower. Only uh, three defenses left. I guess four if you count the sweeper. Got some kind of uh, keen walk going on down at the bottom. Taking out the trash. Bowlers are up taking out the last cannon. Giants are still tanking. And now there's nothing but cleanup. Still has the keen walk going on. Still has three or four bowlers still up, a bunch of giants. And only uh, three more buildings left to take down. I'm sorry, four buildings. Oh, the, the hut over on that right side, but that's not going to be an issue. Plenty of time left. Go ahead and go times four here. Alright, good job, Boone. Alright, going on to our town on. Oh, I'm sorry, one more town on nine attack. Uh, one of our Tano 8.5's Conic versus a Tano 9 using Govaho. And he probably is attacking a... Uh, oh no, it's got exposed. Definitely attacking up. Uh, no. Already seen that one. Sorry guys, I'm trying to bring you uh, three star attacks with uh, three star strategies rather than the two star strategies. So we're going down here to Jaden. He's using uh, Mass Hog. I'm sorry, Mass Drags. And uh, gonna take out this base with no problem. I also try not to bring you guys the same strategy over and over again. You know, I kind of want to show you three or four Gravajos if you've already seen three or four of them. So I try to limit it to one or two, um, then I make sure I show a different strategy. And uh, really it's just because I don't want to keep bringing you the same exact content. I do, want, uh, I do like to switch it up a little bit here and there. So, Dragon stick out this base, no problem. Jaden's one of our best Dragon attackers. Uh, good job, Jay. Keep it up. We'll bring one more here, and this is Kirby. This is Boone's Tano 8, and it's going to be uh, Govaho, but this time it's a Tano 8 Govaho. See where the Tharva here used. Dragons again. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you the, uh, the Govaho instead. Alright. Has uh, one or two golems, not sure yet. Or is it CC early? Bring CC up to the top. Probably not necessary with level 2 golems, but uh, gets the job done nonetheless. Whole bunch of uses all wizards. Okay, but, but she does drop the golem, so it's okay. Looks like there's only one golem, so my guess is maybe Valks in the CC. We'll see. Start sending some Vox in now for cleanup. Really hard to get in this base without Quake spells. Oh, uh, Max Hogs in the CC, that's interesting. Start sending all the Hogs in, so it's more of a, a Hog spam than it is a Valk I go Bajo. Has uh, three heal spells for the Hogs. Yeah, they're gonna stay up just fine. Uh, another one coming down here in the core. Ends up using all three basically in the core because that's where all the bombs ended up being. And only a couple defenses left. Safe to say that uh, Kirby wrecked this base. And with that, that is a wrap. All we have left is cleanup. Drops hay spell. Didn't even end up using it. Swagged it basically. And that is going to conclude our war recap. 
I'll see you guys next time. If you liked the video, be sure to like and sub for more. Uh, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and I will see you guys next time.